Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cousin Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 using just a flash drive. In case you don't know how to prepare it, I'm going to let your video in the description showing you how to do it. This method works for Windows 7, Windows 8, Linux, and Mac OS. So, let's jump right onto it. Before starting, you must know that this process will take more time if you're using an HDD drive and not an SSD. The difference between an SSD and an HDD is very high. In case you wanna get yourself a decent SSD drive, this one is a good choice. The link will be in the description. Alright, now first, if your drive has files in it, you must copy them into another drive, because we'll do a clean install to avoid any possible viruses. Once the backup is done, shut down your PC, insert your flash drive, turn it on, and then open the boot menu to put up the flash drive. Depending on your computer brand, these are the different boot menu keys. If you notice, the most common are F12 and the escape keys. In case you cannot access to the boot menu using a key, you can open the flash drive via the BIOS. And to access the BIOS, the most common key is the F2. So once you are in this screen, here you have three options in case you need to change something, then click next. You can click here in case later on your computer cannot boot up with your Windows already installed. So to continue, click install. Here ignore this screen. It's asking you to activate Windows now. You can do that later. For now, click in this option that says, I don't have product key. You will see this screen if your Windows 10 ISO have more than one version inside it. The recommended one is Windows 10 Home, since the additional features the others have are not really necessary. Then click Next. Here check the Accept box, then click Next. You can also read all of that if you want. Here click in the Advanced option, because the upper one is only used if you are upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10. In this screen, you will see your disk. Mine is completely empty, but if you already have used your disk before, you will see a few partitions. In that case, click on each one and then on the Delete button. Once done, click on the New button. Here, in case you need to create more partitions, you can reduce the number that you see here. If not, just click Apply and then OK. Now you will see a few new partitions created. These ones are necessary for the system, so ignore them, choose the one that says Primary, and then click Next. The installation will take a few minutes. After it finished, it will automatically restart. Once in this page, you will have to wait until it changes to the next one. While you wait, you can click on the microphone icon to mute Cortana and in the speaker icon to increase the volume level. Here you can change the region if you need to, then click yes. Here you can change the keyboard layout if you need to, then click yes. Here click skip. Don't connect your computer to internet yet, click on I don't have internet. Click on continue with limited setup. Here you can add a username, then next. Then you can add your password, then click Next. Confirm your password, then Next. Here you have to choose 3 questions and 3 answers. This will be used if later on you forget your user password. Choose yours, then Next. Click 
click on no. Click on decline. Here you have to uncheck every box that you see activated. Then click on accept. That's it. It's already installed, but you need to do a few more steps in order to actually be fully usable. For now, the first step is to activate Windows. In case your computer has the activation built in, as soon as you connect your computer to your internet, it will be activated. If not, then you will have to do it the usual way. As for the rest of the configurations, do not miss my next video, where I show you step by step how to fully configure your new Windows 10 machine. That's pretty much it for this video guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Also if you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. But more important, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.